Park the trailer on a level surface. The leveling will be done by lifting the nose. Ensure that the jockey wheel is tightened properly, the handbrake is pulled up and lift the nose by turning the lever as shown. Release the tilt legs which is positioned at the back of the trailer. These legs are not for leveling but only to prevent the trailer from tilting. Loosen the cover straps. One of the advantages of our tent cover is the double sealing system. A zip and velcro method prevents the dust and water from entering. Remove the tent cover. An easy method to roll a tent cover is by creating a triangle. Fold the left corner in and then the right corner. Now roll up the triangle point to ensure a neat and tidy roll. The cover is to be stowed away in the compartment provided at the top of the trailer. Move to the other side of the trailer where the straps were loosened. By standing on the trailer ledge you will be able to reach the tent strap easily. Don't pull on the strap alone. Place the other hand on the tent pole and pull over. Drop the tent floor by loosening the seven brackets. Open the door and enter the tent. Now open the top windows for natural light to ease the rest of the procedures. Open the inside cover to be able to step onto the trailer ledge. Now loose the two tent straps that was used to fold up the tent. Fetch the ladder which is lying on the bed and move it closer. Now loosen the bottom tent strap. Push the tent out and then turn the pole to lock. Still battling to roll up the tent flaps. Fold the flaps by creating a triangle as explained with the tent cover. Use the four straight pegs to secure the tent floor. Unfolding of the bed. Push the ladder in the sockets which is at the bottom of the bed base. Fold back the mattress to complete the process. Open the bedroom window. and the two side flaps. Be careful when using these rods as they could cause injury. Underneath the tent is a tent bracket with a hole. Start with the tent flap and insert the straight end at the top. Insert the bended edge 
in the hole at the bottom. Note the excellent ventilation which is created by all the openings around the tent. The bedroom window offers not only ventilation but a wonderful position to enjoy your camping view. When executing correctly, this large cover can be erected by a single person. Open the tent and roll the sides to the center. Roll up the tent from one side. Into the trailer and place the tent cover on top of the tent. Open the cover. Align the tent cover as indicated. The tent poles are stored underneath the spare wheel. Start in the center when inserting the tent poles. Fasten the rope by creating a loop around the tent pole. This way the rope is pulled down and then to the side. Follow the sequence as indicated to insert all the poles around the tent. The power supply is at the front of the trailer. Please note that the plastic cover must not be opened to the fullest extent, but must be inserted with the plug. Open the back door and start with the power pack. Switch on the main switch. The red AC light will come on. Now charge the batteries by switching on the battery isolator. These lights will indicate the battery strength. The battery charger can be activated. The outlet switch will supply power to the fridge, lights and all other plug points. The last switch is for the lighter and water pump. If you prefer to have your geyser on 220 volts instead of gas, you can do this by switching on the geyser isolator and then the geyser switch. First the pump and then the on switch. Select then the electric option. The geyser will heat up the water within 45 minutes. To run the geyser on gas you have to connect the gas bottle, switch on the pump, then the on switch and the gas option. A 220 volt plug is also available by the switch on the 220 volt isolator. The geyser is stored in the nose cone but make sure to remove the dust cover before use. The kitchen. Open the back door and lift the latch. Pull out the kitchen tray until the drawer reaches the stopper. Open the stove tray. On the other side of the L-shaped kitchen is the wash basins. The wash basins are fed by a hot or cold tap. 
The bottom drawer is used for all cutlery. Connect the stove to the gas bottle. Together with the grocery cupboard and bar unit, this kitchen is only a campus dream. Always remember to lock the drawer after closing. The fruit is stored in the front end of the trailer. The utility bag can be used for optimal storage space. Two 75 litre water tanks are stored below the trailer. The water pump will feed the geyser and all other water outlets. The bed will be folded back during the day which allow easy access to your clothing storage. Open the inside cover to reach the bathroom cupboard and clothing storages. A cupboard is placed in the front side of the trailer just behind the fridge. The batteries are stored below the bar. These batteries supply power at 102 amps per hour. This will provide enough energy to run the trailer's light and fridge for up to four days. Another battery is situated on the other side of the trailer at the exact same place. The side panel. The main cover tent can also accommodate side panels to complete the ultimate camping experience. The nose cone. 20 litre jerry cans are fitted each side of the nose cone with a wood rack on top. The water tanks are refilled on both sides of the nose cone. A spade, axe and slasher are useful tools to have in the bush. Inside the nose cone is a fire extinguisher. Behind the trailer just above the spare wheel is the serving table. Covering the spare wheel is the most important utility of all, the braai. Fold up the bed and put the ladder on the bed. Join the tent straps. Zip up the inside cover. Lift the tent floor on the one side only to allow all dirt and dust to fall to a central part where the tent floor can be cleaned. After cleaning the tent floor, close all window covers. Now lift the remaining side of the tent. Remove the window rods. Whilst in the air, the tent floor can now be cleaned. Open the tent cover to reach the tent poles. Twist the bottom tent pole on both sides. Pull the tent back in its storage position. Now fold the tent back to reach the tent pole bracket. Push back the bracket to its maximum position. Remove the tent cover from its stored position. To prevent the zip from damaging any canvas, insert your hand as demonstrated. To fasten the straps, feed the strap through the back loop and then through the front. Tighten the strap by first pulling on the end that covers the tent and then the front end. 